Hey HCG family, um, today is Tuesday and I have been having a rough day, but it's getting better and I'm here to talk about it. I had just filmed a whole long vlog and, uh, and even edited it. I was at the very end adding music and I got the answer what I was looking for. I think I found the culprit. Anyway, today's a new day. Today is day nine of my injection, day seven of the VLCD, and I am up 0.5. Yep, 178.4. And when I woke up this morning, I was like swollen feeling, you know, in my hands, in my joints. Um, anyway, I also have mouth ulcers in my mouth. Um, I had, it's a long story, but to tell you what happened yesterday, because I'm going to go over this, because this might help somebody else, okay? I gained, and I rarely ever gain, okay? And I was crying out a while ago, not crying out, but basically asking God, what did I do wrong? Please show me. And I think I have the answer. So yesterday, I had chunked chili for lunch, like I reported in my vlog. I used, uh, let me get that can. Instead of a real tomato, I used the original Rotel. And as you can see, on the back, it's low calorie and everything, right? For a half a cup, it's like 20 calories. And so I used the whole can, and the whole can is 520 milligrams of sodium, four carbs, you subtract a fiber, blah, blah, blah. That was when I made the chili, and I also used, in my chili, I had used a little bit of the Kroger's beef broth. No MSG added, but noticed that it's very low calories, but notice the sodium, okay? Just notice that. Okay, so I thought I had bought the low sodium of that and wasn't thinking when I used the Rotel, okay? So I had the chili for lunch, and the original normally is not that spicy, but I normally put it in my gumbo, so maybe that's why. And so um, I'm sitting here eating lunch, talking to you guys. I'm having um, a soup today. But it was hot. It was like spicy hot. It upset my stomach. I must have ran to the bathroom 10 times after I ate that yesterday. Um and if that wasn't enough to dehydrate you. And so yesterday I decided not to drink my Louisiana tea in the afternoon. And I must have had like three cups of hot tea with a little bit of stevia. And this was all decaf. And I just wanted to see what it would do for me. Um, I, had, I had a smart water. And then I refilled my smart water again with purified water. And I drank some coffee yesterday morning. So I had a lot of liquid. Okay. Well, um... <laughs> yesterday evening I decided to make this chicken cabbage soup and I used like a teaspoon of coconut oil fried my chicken in it put cabbage a half a celery stalk uh, some herbs and seasoning and I used my Kroger chicken broth okay notice it's low calories right but look at the sodium okay all right Ate that. It was very filling. Uh, I used a cup of that in the in the, my soup. Anyway, uh, my stomach wasn't upset at supper. It was just yesterday afternoon after I ate the chunks chili. Um, woke up at 4 o'clock this morning moving my bowels again. So you would think, gosh, I am going to lose 3 pounds. I even felt different when I got up this morning. I was like, gosh, I must have lost a pound. I feel different. You know what I mean? Got on the scale and it's up both scales so um, of course I've racked my brains all morning and I thought about this a lot and um, prayed about it and I feel like I have the answer I really believe the answer is because I feel swollen is the salt and the sodium content and so I will be taking back all those extra boxes that I bought from Kroger's. I had bought like three of these boxes right here for $5 or something like that. Thinking I was, 
I really must have been in a rush that day when I didn't buy the low sodium or whatever. So be careful when you're buying things to put, to use on P2. You know, it can affect your weight loss. And also yesterday was the first time I had fried something in the coconut oil. Now I have had a little bit of problem in the past, so I'm crossing my fingers that that won't happen again. But I'm going to isolate the sodium problem first. I'm not going to use the coconut oil until I figure this out. Um, anyway, uh, what else did I want to say? Uh, so today for lunch, and I, it's very inclement still here. The roads are still bad. I'm not going to head out yet, but I am going to take all this back. But for lunch, I didn't really have much of a choice. So I had fried my organic sirloin uh, that I bought at the um, Earth Fair. And I measured exactly three and a half ounces. I fried that with a little bit of onion and a celery stalk and like a cup of Napa cabbage. I put two tablespoons of Hunt's uh, tomato paste. And as you can see, it's sort of high in sodium. Let me see if I can get that for you. 270 milligrams for two tablespoons. Okay, there's no sugar added to that. So I used two tablespoons and I used a half a cup of the uh, beef broth, but this time I used the organic. I had some of this left in the cabinet from Earth Fair, but look guys, it's still high too, 550. And the reason I'm telling you this is I have some low sodium um, chicken broth in there and it's only like 170 milligrams for a cup. So I'm gonna take all this back and get the low sodium. But today for my lunch, I'm going to try to, my calories are really low, but I was hoping I was, uh, I'm doing this in hopes that maybe Debbie RN1 or somebody else in the medical field that wants to do a vlog on sodium intake and how much should you have, you shouldn't have. I know me personally and oh, Angie baby doing HCG who swells up like a toad frog, would love to know how much salt you should have a day uh, when you're adding in foods that don't have, that do have salt in them. Uh, maybe you could answer that for us. Um, I'll show you a picture of what I'm eating. Yep, that's my soup. I sort of used that Mrs. Dash uh, Southwest Chipotle today when I fried this up and I put some garlic and uh, some hot water and I just let it cook for like 20 minutes and that's what I'm eating. Um, I also made this morning, I wanted to give a shout out to Ms. Rachel B. And that would be O Angie Baby doing HCG's daughter. Ms. Rachel B. has a recipe called Protein Pack Pancakes and I made them for Ashley the other day. And um, I noticed when I made them, I had to add some oil because it just didn't need, it didn't have any oil in it. And I always put oil in my pancakes, so I put coconut oil. And so today, uh, I had some leftover pumpkin from a can that I had made a pumpkin cheesecake for Ashley, a cheesecake pie. And um, so I put some of the pumpkin in there and I, I, I sort of changed the recipe a little bit. So I made pumpkin protein pancakes. <laughs> uh, so it turned out really good. And um, Ashley loved it. Anyway, uh, just want to give a quick shout out to, to her. She did a good job coming up with that recipe. And um, when I'm on P3, I will definitely try that. Um, what else? Um, so, I guess I answered myself on the dilemma that I'm having. It's either the coconut oil or the sodium that caused me to gain. And I'm hoping I'm going to drop tomorrow. And I'm cutting out my Melba's today, and I'm going to eat my fruit here in a little bit. And um, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. It's okay. And if I have to do an apple day, this girl drops three pounds every time I do an apple day. So if I have to do one, I will do one. Um, but right now, I'm not to that point. Um, what else did I want to say? Uh, you know, I don't think I mentioned this, but... 
I haven't had to use Smooth Move Tea not even once since I've been on the VLCDs this time. That's a little TMI, but I'm not constipated. I think like my body and my health has gotten a lot better from doing this protocol. And I know some of you others say that too. And yesterday I gave myself my B12 injection. Uh, every Monday I give myself that. And I was a little late on my shot yesterday. I normally give it like at 8 and I gave it at 10 because I'd forgotten and remembered. So, uh, and the day before was a skip shot day. So, who knows if that all affected it. But, I'm going to get off here because I have to go and get some more uh, work done here. And uh, when I was angry this morning, I was cleaning and cooking. That's what I do when I'm angry. Oh well, now you guys know. We still have a lot of snow here. I'm going to put um, a picture right here. Love you guys. Peace out.